hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of m if we have m plus 1 is equals to m minus 1 and we solve this problem for all the values of m so here first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root further we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these two methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we move towards our first method and in the first method here i can first uh, explain why i can uh, solve this problem for two methods so the reason is that uh, if in your exam the question statement is that you need to find the value of m or you need to find the root of this equation so in that case in order to find the values of m you need to do our first method but if in your exam the question is that uh, you need to determine the solution of this problem in that case you just directly move towards our second method but now our both of these two methods are valid for any type of uh, for these type of questions okay now we move towards uh, the solution of this problem from first method in first method here we need to take a squaring on both of the sides now because here our target is to get the values of m okay so that's why we need to take a squaring on both of the sides so when we apply squaring it will be written as in this form now further here we need to use the uh, these two nice formulas so here our first formula is if you have a plus b whole square it is equals to a square plus two times of a b plus b square and here we uh, in the right hand side we use an other algebraic formula you know about that if we have a minus b whole square it is equals to a square minus two times of a b plus b square so here we apply these two formulas uh, on both of the sides of the above equation so our above equation is written as uh, first we apply here this formula into the left hand side so it will becomes uh, m square plus 2 times of m into 1 plus 1 square is equal to in the right hand side we have now we apply the second formula and it will be written as uh, m square minus 2 times of m into 1 plus 1 square okay so further uh, we need more simplification here and uh, you see that we have uh, uh, here uh, we first simplify the terms and it will be written as this is m square plus this will becomes 2 times of m plus this 1 square becomes here 1 and further we move these terms from right hand side to the left hand side this is positive m square when we move it into the left hand side it will become the negative m square this is minus 2 m becomes plus 2 m this is plus 1 square becomes minus 1 and this whole equation is equals to zero and now you see here this is negative uh, m square and this is positive m square are cancelled out by each other this is minus one and this is plus one are also cancelled out by each other and here we get uh, just 2m plus 2m so when we add these two like terms we get here 4m is equals to zero but here our target is to find the values of m so for this we need to divide both of the sides by four so when we divide both of the sides by 4 it will be written as 4m divided by 4 is equals to 0 divided by 4 so this 4 and this 4 are cancelled out by each other and we get here our m is equals to 0 divided by 4 is always becomes here 0 okay so here we get the value of m is equals to 0 uh, and now here uh, in the next step we need to verify that is this value of m be the solution or extraneous root so uh, for this uh, we so, uh, we need to verify this value of m so for verification of this value we need to copy down given question statement here it is m plus 1 is equals to m minus 1 this is the our given question statement and here we substitute the value of m is equals to 0 on both of the sides and we check that uh, its behavior so when you put it on both of the sides it will be written as uh, 0 plus 1 is equals to 0 minus 1 and here you clearly see that 0 plus 1 becomes plus 1 and 0 minus 1 becomes minus 1 and here we see that a 1 is equals to minus 1 
is a not possible case it is not possible that a positive value is equals to some negative value okay uh, because this is not possible so if this is not possible it means that the value of m is equal to 0 is not satisfied our given question statement uh, so we call that m equals to 0 uh, be the extraneous root of the given equation because it does not satisfy our given question statement so here we finally conclude about the solution set of this problem is that uh, this question has no solution okay so this is the uh, final conclusion about first method and now here uh, we again solve this problem for second method and in second method we uh, copy down given question statement here it is m plus 1 is equals to m minus 1 so this is the our given question statement and here our second method be the uh, quick method and here we quickly get the values or quickly determine the solutions out of this problem so here uh, we move this m from uh, right hand side to the left hand side and we move this one to the right hand side okay we just need to interchange these two values so when we move m in the left hand side it will becomes m minus m is equal to this is plus one when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes minus one so this plus m and minus m are cancelled out by each other and we get here zero is equals to minus two and here you again see that 0 equals to minus 2 is again not possible case uh, it is not possible that 0 is equals to minus 2 because in general these are not possible so here uh, it means that we cannot get any value of m which is satisfied our given question statement uh, so this concludes about that this question has no solution so this is the final conclusion of this problem and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.